Hey there guys. So, marigolds. Wife has planted some marigolds here and they actually look awesome. To be honest, let's have a look at this. So, if you just dug a little bit of a shallow trench, very shallow, with a hoe, just threw the flowery seeds down and that was it, and buried it and that was it. So, and that turned out really, really well. We got some, we just uh, weeded all of this. We got some cabbage here. We just put this over it for now, because they won't be long and we'll take these cabbages out. And um, yeah, but the marigold has done really well. That's pretty cool. And the reason why there was no insects um, eating any of these cabbages is because of the marigold and also the basil. There's all basil all over there. And there was actually basil all the way through here. But we just weeded it all. And we'll probably make a row of basil along here. But yeah. That is excellent. So if um, you want to keep your insects away from your vegetables, plant a row of marigold like that. And then plant your cabbages. That's pretty cool. Um, it's lemongrass. These, these cabbages here, I'm not too sure what's going on here. I think they're just leaf cabbages where you just, um, they, maybe they don't form the the uh, middle part. Got some spring onions, these are doing really well. Wife has just um, split them up again and planted them. So she'll get, come out and grab some spring onions when she does her cooking. And she just cuts the tops off, to be honest. These pineapples, uh, we bought these at the market and then we just took the heads off and just buried them in here. And they're actually doing all right. But one thing they didn't do too well is our tomatoes. So we just replanted some of these tomatoes here, but we had tomatoes on the other side there and over here. And they didn't do too well at all so they didn't survive and it was I think it's the, the sort of tomatoes that you can't actually plant in the in the Pacific should have done a little bit more of uh, investigation or study or research on that but yeah these tomatoes are doing really well these tomatoes we actually got from here already pre pre um, seeded and or just put them in and they're doing all right but i think these are the ones that <laughs> didn't do too well see how, see how they're tiny as they've been like that for months but yeah marigolds really good they're actually flowering really well so we'll probably put a couple of hedges around the place just to keep the bugs away and the basil, see basil, 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 basil. All basil over there. Basil all over here. Now this is, so what happens is, there's basil flowers and then seeds. See, out from this. And the wind just blows them all over the place and then they just regrow all over the place. That's pretty cool. We didn't actually plant any of this. So, yeah, brilliant. All right, guys, bye for now.